Hi and welcome to another Mining Monday. Today I'm going to take a look at the Pallet 1050 Ti and giving you an update on the power consumption to hash rate and giving you an idea of what you can expect to get from it. We'll also be doing the Asus 1050 Ti, both Expert Edition and Standard Edition. Again, comparing how good they are and then doing a review and letting you know which one I think is the best one. But for today, this is going to be on the Pallet 1050 Ti. I'm going to show you the overclocking settings. And the description below shows you the rig that I'm using to give these power consumptions. I'm also using a TP link. HS110 to read the power consumption. If you're not familiar with this, I've done some videos already for this Mining Monday as well as some Tech Tuesday videos. So check out those if you're interested in other technologies for gaming or for mining. So let's get on with it. So off the bat here, the power consumption with no load was 27 watts. On default here with no overclocking settings, the rig is doing around 10.8 mega hash or so 11 nearly mega hash here. This has got the Macron DDR RAM in it. I suggest buying the 1050 Ti over the 1050 because it's got 4 gig of RAM, not 2 gig of RAM. You'll we'll need that additional RAM to download the blockchain. We're mining Ether today. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do anything else around the mining side. Give me a shout. I'll check out some stuff for you. So on default here, no clock settings. It's running 10.8 hash, like we said. It's using 81 watts of power. So let's clock it up. We'll give it the standard 400 memory clock, see what it does. So here with the plus 400 memory clock, it's already hitting 13.54 hash here, 13.6. So nearly two hash increase here for a plus 400 memory clock is pretty good. And it's playing 92 watts. At the end of this, I'll give you the settings that I've been using. You can take those forward. These ones that I found that have been stable and have been giving me a good power consumption as well. So I put the clock up to 600. It's pulling 14.51 hash. So again, it's giving us another plus one hash here. It's pretty good. And it's pulling 95 watts of power. So it's an impressive game still. So here we are, plus 800 memory core clock only. That's the only thing I've increased so far. We're pushing 15 mega hash here, and we're hitting 99 watts. So again, still looking pretty good. Let's get it to 16. Pretty sure this car can do it. So let's keep pushing it, see what it can do up to 1,000 now. So here we are, 1,000 memory core. It's good to see it's holding its performance here. It's not uh, crashed yet. It's doing 55 degrees of temperature. It's 15.98. We are going to see 16, I'm pretty sure here. And it's 102 watts of power here. So that's a pretty good increase. It's nearly six hash increase here from the base of what 10.8. So around what 70% increase here in hash. That's pretty decent. So close at 15.91. Let's push up the core clock here, see if we can get 16 out of it. So I've pushed the core clock to 100. We're using 103 watts of power here, and it's still just on the cusp of hitting 16. It's at 15.8, 15.9. There it is, 16 hash. Whoa, close. Let's push the clock up a little bit more on the core clock, see what we can get out of it. 16.10 there. So you can get 16 out of this card, but you are pushing it quite a lot. It's doing 56 degrees C, so 57 degrees C, which is pretty good. And it's still pretty stable here. It hasn't crashed yet, so I'm impressed. So you can push the clock a bit more. Let's see if we can get another. Let's get 200 out of it, see if we'll do 200. So it won't do 200. It's decreased the power down to 42 watts, even though it's showing me the hash rate of 15. So this to me is where you start to make the changes. So I've dropped the power down to 80% power. I've locked the CPU temp to 85 degrees, which is not even getting near. And I've dropped all the core clock off to minus 400, which seems to be the best tactic when overclocking these cards at the minute for hash. It's pulling 94 watts of power, and it's still above 15 hash here. So that's pretty good from this card. I'm impressed. So let's keep dropping the power, see what it does. So one of the things to note on these cards is these 1050s can go down to 70% power. Consumption, unlike the 1070s, that can go down to 50, including the 1060s. It's going to go down to 50% power. It's pulling 80 watts of power, and it's still at 14 hash here. So we've dropped about one hash for about 10 watts, which is which is a decent reduction. You could run this at 1,000 memory core. I'd expect after probably a period it would stop. So I'm going to show you the settings now that I've been using that's stable, and I'll give you around the same hash rate here. And the difference here is dropping the memory core down to 625. Everything else is still the same. It's still pulling 14.3 hash. Power is 79 watts. So I've been running these cards probably for about a month at this um, core clock speed with these settings. I had no issues. Been solid as a rock. So if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know what you're thinking so far in the comments. Let me know what your cards are producing power to hash rate. Or if you know the hash, let me know the hash and what card you've got. Be interested to know. Let me know if you want me to show you anything else. And until the next one, I'll see you again soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.